beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have a very exciting video. It's a collaboration video covering Found's amazing song, Von den Elben. Now this particular tune um, I learned a little while ago. I was then contacted by Fiona Ruggerberg, who actually plays Tin Whistle in this song, in the band Found. Amazing. And she gave me a bit of a uh, lesson and some tips on how to play the whistle parts of this. And then I asked her if she wanted to be in the video to show you guys what she showed me. And she said yes. So she will be joining us today along with a very talented harp player, Luke Webb. Now I've also done a collaboration video with Luke before and I hope to do many more in the future. You guys can find that plus their YouTube channels linked in the description below. Please go and check them out because uh, yeah, you guys need to see how talented these two are. But first things first, we're going to play you guys a cover. Then you'll need to grab your low D or high D whistles, follow the tutorial with me. Then if you want the advanced tutorial, stick around and follow the tutorial with Fiona and then we'll play all together again. So let's get into it.
Now, before we get into the tutorial section, I just want to say a huge thank you to both Fiona for teaching me what you know and also taking part in this collaboration. Thank you so much. And also to Luke for the amazing heart backing track. Um, it's really nice to have something to play along to and really make a fantastic tutorial. So thank you guys so, so much. Anyway, let's play this thing. Thank 
folks. So now I have the pleasure to explain you um, the solos of Von den Elben. And we have two solos going on. The first one is the shorter one and it's obviously a little bit more easy. And um, I will give you a short overview of the solo and then we will go into the details and I will explain you some of the details, some of the ornamentation I use. And yeah, so this is the piece. So I use basically three different ornaments in this solo. The first one is um, yeah, pretty easy, it's vibrato and um, I use this on longer notes that I want to shine a little bit and um, I use it for example here. And what I do is I, um, I use this finger or sometimes even this as well and I um, I lift them shortly over the tone. I don't I don't really close the holes. I just lift them a little bit and let them flatter, so the tone gets this vibrato um, appeal to it. And um, the second ornament I like to use a lot are trills. For example, when we come to this little um, part. <laughs> just a really small trill. Um, what I do is I shortly lift this finger so we get a little really short tiny trill on that note to give it a little kick. And then I use also a different way of trill which is a little bit more complicated because it involves three different notes. So this is on that note, for example, I um, shortly play the underlying note and then I lift this finger, go back to the basic note we want to play and do another round on the lower note. Oh yeah, there's another ornament I love to use and this is what I call a slide. Glissando, you could also say. For example, on that high note, um, you know, you just slide away your finger like this. You can also use this low and you can use this high. It's a wonderful ornament to make things more smooth and, um, you know, groovy. So, yeah, this is basically the ornaments I use in that solo. And now we want to have a look at the second solo. I will play it to you and um, then we go into details again. So have a listen.
So let's start with the first part of that um, solo. Um, we start up high. We have a little slide and trill combination in the beginning, right at the start. And then we have this one again. I explained you uh, how to do this before. And there we have combination slide, trill with this finger. And again a combination slide and trill to finish up the melody low. And I really let the finger, you know, slide over the notes, fly over the notes really quickly. When I start, for example, this note, I use this little um, in-between note by just lifting that finger really quickly. So we get that kind of feeling. Yeah. So this is basically the first part. It's not so hard to play if you know how to, you know, pronounce the ornaments. And um, the second part um, starts off like a little menuet or something. So then we have again the combination trill and slide. Again slide trill and go down. And again I use a little clicking note in between those two notes. There, I use a little vibrato again. So this is a combination of a lot of ornaments, and um, in combination and played fast, um, they might sound a little bit, you know, complicated. But in fact, they're really not. When we start up here, you have at first a little lifting that finger kind of trill. And slide away, lifting that finger kind of trill, follow um, right after that. Followed by another slide and lifting the finger trill. So we have this very fast combination of uh, three ornaments. No? And um, going down again. So I'm going to play this uh, this whole uh, last section for you again slowly, um, so you can figure out where exactly I place the trills. explanations you find a way to figure it out yourself and um, yeah I thank uh, cutie pie a lot to let me join this video I really love it um, and I hope we can do some more sometime in the future and yeah have lots of fun playing and um, if you have any questions you can also write me visit my website and you know ask me stuff about found pieces if you like
thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you really, really loved this one. Don't forget to like this video. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, why have you not subscribed? <laughs> Don't forget if you guys want lessons in tin whistle, recorder, piano, or bagpipes, get in touch with Fiona. And if you guys want harp lessons, get in touch with Luke. I was playing my Carbony Close Finger Hole Spacing Low D Whistle today. You guys can find links to purchase that in the description below and my review on that up here. Please don't forget to check out these amazing two channels and hit that subscribe button. That is it from me. I hope you guys love this one. Please do come back and watch some more. I'll see you guys really soon for more amazing tin whistle stuff. Bye.